and welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself and it will take longer to do what? To accomplish your goal. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 182 points. NASDAQ's up 104. S&Ps are up uh, 38. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ, a composite of 1.2%. Dow Industrials 1% and the S&P uh, 1%. Dow Industrials 7 tenths of 1%. Gold, gold contract down six dollars and forty cents, trading at seventeen thirty nine an ounce. You have silver off five cents, fifteen dollars thirty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, up seventy cents, trading seventeen dollars twenty two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten year up three ticks, trading one thirty nine oh four. The thirty year up twenty one at one eighty two oh one. And king dollar, king dollar down fifty five ticks, trading one hundred point three seven seven. The euro is out here at 107, the yen is at 107 and a half, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. What do we have out here? Okay, so if we go into the futures first, what we're going to look at, folks, the S&P futures, as well as the S&P, is trying to get through the downdraft that was created out here yes yesterday when that Jaleed story came out. Uh, bottom line, the top of that range is 28.29. We have reached 28.23. Uh, bottom line, we'll see coming into this close, come co closer to the week, if in fact it can make it up there. Uh, it was a monster downdraft, so there's 125,000 contracts right there, folks, uh, that is basically trying to uh, go down there. And I'll be able to fix this. Sorry about this, folks. Uh, bottom line, it's going to have to be fixed at the break. Uh, if, you, if you're trying to look at my screen here. Uh, one second. Okay. So, uh, gold. Gold contract. What do we have inside the gold contract? Gold contract out here gets to a price point out here today of uh, 1760. We've done 170,000 contracts. You are in the higher range, folks. Anything above the uh, 1697 keeps you in the higher range. In fact, if we take this, I'm going to put this on a continuous contract. You're going to see how this baby's setting up right now. What you have with this baby right now on a continuous contract is you're going to be able to see you launch the, the, the higher range. The, the higher range in this particular case is 1686. You put this back a little bit more, and what you're going to see is that this baby is going for its all-time highs. Now, in, inside of the uh, gold market, folks, the, bo the bottom line the all -time, in the U.S., the all-time high is $1,920. Uh, with 1723 right now, you have only one other swing point uh, involved before you get there. 1794 is the swing point. And uh, bottom line, we've hit the 1760. What I expect we're going to see, whether it's next week or the week after, is that you're going to be running right up into that level. And the real kicker is going to be, do you take it out, number one? And if you do take it out with price and volume, you're going to have a monster ABC structure on the way up. Um, I'll do the numbers again, but I believe it's about the 24, 2500 uh, inside of the gold market. What we did out here this week is that you had the uh, XAU, we'll bring the XAU up, you've had the XAU take out its seven-year consolidation. Uh, we bring this up, and what you're going to see here, this uh, seven-year consolidation, let me see this, i got to put this, there we go, oh, wrong one, XAU. Okay, we take a look at this XAU right now, and we bring this back, and what you're going to see out here is that the launch is uh, 114.21. Bottom line, you've taken it out. What that sets up inside the XAU, that sets another move up to 194. Now, this is a monster, man. We're only at 116. 194 would be the number. And if you do want to see how, when you take out a consolidation like that, just what ends up happening, we, we'll go back to Newmont. We've been talking about this, of course. Uh, Newmont, bottom line, took it out. Uh, let's see, what did we close last week? 45. 44. So check this out. We only took out the top of the consolidation of Newmont last week. 
That top was $44, and Newmont now is at $62.74. No, last month, sorry, sorry, last month, last month. So last month, four or five weeks ago. Bottom line, you can see Newmont's going right for the highs, which is $70.65. We hit $63.80 out here today. If we go take a look at Barrick Gold, which is the second largest uh, gold uh, equity uh, in the world, uh, same type of setup. Barrick did it this week, and in spades, by the way, uh, the top of the consolidation of the seven-year consolidation in Barrick is $23.46. We're $26.90. That's saying Barrick is on its way up to the $42 level, and we're at $26. So, uh, powerful moves. You know, it makes sense. You know, after a seven-year consolidation, folks, that's a lot of bent-up demand that is looking and going into the marketplace. Uh, the high flyers inside the gold market, they have made new all-time highs. You got uh, Franco Nevada, that's at 135. And you talk about a move from the lows that were established out here on the 16th of March. Uh, that was $71, and the stock is at 135. Many of these uh, gold equities, uh, no doubt, have done a 100% move um, from in the last six weeks. Harmony, Harmony's on the move. Harmony's trading up by uh, 18 cents right now. You're at $3.73. That's off a low of, of $1.76 that was established out here on the 13th of March, I believe, 19th of March. And if you want to see why, then you're going to go over and look at the RAND, because what you're going to see, the RAND is trading at 19 RAND dollars to one U.S. dollar. And if we put the gold contract into RAND dollars, this is where you're going to see if you're a fundamentalist, you're just going to love this one, because this is just pretty amazing. That uh, what does happen inside of the gold market, uh, this is in every, every country, by the way, too. Uh, depending, and this is what's a little bit tricky inside the gold market, is that where, whatever jurisdiction, folks, that the company is dealing with, they're paying their expenses most times in that jurisdiction, and they're always getting paid in U.S. cash. And if we take a look at this and you see uh, in RAND dollars, the high of 2011, okay, was 15,700 RAND. And RAND dollars, folks, were at 33,000. It's double. It's double the price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.